A very good afternoon and welcome to yet another edition of the S101's Visual Radio. For the News First team, I'm Jared Abdeen. We start off with a look at your headlines. News First Headline And making headlines, Satyagraha campaign launched by university and academic staff continues. Deadline to submit A-level applications at July 10th. Extreme heat kills hundreds, millions, most sweltering worldwide as summer begins. And in sports, Pat Cummins joins exclusive group with T20 World Cup hat-trick. And now your news in detail. In local news, the indefinite Satyagraha campaign launched by the striking university and academic staff is ongoing for a third day. The Satyagraha campaign was launched opposite all state universities. University and academic staff have also organized a protest in Colombo next week against the government's failure to provide solutions to their demands. Co-chairman of the University Trade Union Joint Committee, Damik S. Priyanta, says the strike was launched demanding the agreed monthly allowance and the provision of the 15% salary cut implemented in 2016. <laughs> And shifting your attention towards more local news, the Department of Examinations says applications will be accepted online for the 2024 GCE Advanced Level Examination until the 10th of July. Applications must be submitted via www.doenets.lk or www.onlineexams.gov. LK, or the official mobile application of the department. Students of the government and government-approved private schools must submit their applications through their respective principal, while private applicants must submit the applications individually. The, pardon. the Department of Examination says the deadline to submit applications will not be extended and requested applicants to submit the applications prior to the deadline. The department says inquiries in this regard can be made through the telephone numbers 011-278-4208 and 011-278-4537. Up next is international news. International News And in news overseas, deadly heat waves are scorching cities on four continents as the Northern Hemisphere marks the first day of summer, a sign that climate change may again help to fuel record-breaking heat that could surpass last summer as the warmest in 2,000 years. Record temperatures in recent days are suspected to have caused hundreds if not thousands of deaths across Asia and Europe. In Saudi Arabia, nearly 2 million Muslim pilgrims are finishing the Hajj at the Grand Mosque in Mecca this week. But according to reports from foreign authorities, hundreds have died during the journey and temperatures about 51 degrees Celsius. And up next is your update on sports. Sports News And finally in sports, fast bowler Pat Cummins created history in Antigua when he became just the second Australian player and seventh overall to claim a hat-trick in ICC Men's T20 World Cup match. Cummins picked up two wickets from the final two deliveries of his third over against Bangladesh and then completed the feat with the opening ball of his last over at Sir Vivian Richards Stadium when he had Tawhid Hridoy caught at short fine leg. Australia beat Bangladesh by 28 runs on the Duckworth Lewis Stern method to start their Super 8s with a win and maintain a 100% record at the T20 World Cup. And with that, we wrap up this edition of the Yes 101's Visual Radio. For the news first team, I've been Jordan Abdin. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.